everybody, welcome back to some XCOM and well, XCOM 2, not XCOM 1. And uh, so we got our guys here. So two of our people that actually have fucking like abilities are not actually in this mission, and it's quite unfortunate because one of them I actually would really want to bring with me. I don't think I can just kind of. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna tell you that much. But at the same time, I'm not exactly against this because I guess we get to like if I go here and I look for that yeah, gravely wounded, 20 days. So we don't even have that many people. Fucking hell. Yeah. So we're just gonna bring this tag rank tag of uh, misfits along. I actually didn't show you much about some of the customization options here. Um, I'm not gonna show you much about the character creation. I didn't have time for this last time. But the loadout, so you got your sniper rifle. Oh, this is me, by the way. A pistol, and I can either have a med kit or a frag grenade. I only have one med kit, so it goes onto this guy, just the rookie. Uh, like the, the rookies can't have anything different. Uh, just showing you loadouts. There you go. That's that's pretty much all there is to it. Just assault rifles. There is a mod already to have SMGs, but I don't know. I, I decided not to enable it just because we're just playing kind of vanilla -ish. Oh, this is canned, by the way. Uh, so you can. There is actually a different piece of armor you can have, uh, but there's literally no difference. Like the description changes slightly, and the appearance of it changes slightly, but that's it. It actually doesn't matter. So he's got a cannon and a grenade launcher, and just two frag grenades. You want to give our. We want to give our fucking rocket guy that all the grenades so he gets all the grenade launcher shit going and that's pretty much it so we got like basically two shitters a uh, sniper and our uh, mini gunner so uh, this mission is such a fucking loss is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. I guess we can go back to base again. A hacker working for the Resistance installed a data tag area, and the data they're retrieving is critical to the aliens' latest operation. Recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device. That data is too valuable to lose, so we're moving in to secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear. the data tap installed nearby we need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs okay so I have actually not done okay uh, guys we are officially in entering blind territory as of now uh, tutorial done because we have not done this yet uh, all right so what's the best way over to that thing so, we can see the concealment meters over here. Uh, I'm thinking we just move through the house. We could also go onto the roof. Doesn't look like it's gonna break concealment yet. Uh, I think, you know, honestly, we don't have, like, really a lot of options here. Oh, yes, so I, I asked, I told one of my friends what I was doing. Um, uh, I told him I was doing this on fucking the difficulty with, uh... That was hard, and um, he just told me I'm a, I'm a poor motherfucker, and that I should uh, uh, not be afraid to use my saves. Will do. Uh, and so I said, okay. Uh, so appar apparently, I'm in for, in for some treats. Oh yes, also I'm German. Got it. Uh, the reason why is, a uh, well, fuck you. Well, no one had a deep enough voice on the fucking the U.S. side, so uh, even though I'm Canadian, so. Um, so something with the sharpshooters is that when you move into cover, uh, like you basically use your move and I can't basically fire my... So I can either fire my pistol or f uh, use pistol overwatch. It's actually a completely separate option now, uh, which is nice because you can't shoot and scoot with your sniper rifle. All right, so this is actually just a detection radius thing, which should be actually okay. Because we don't actually have to step into that at all. 
Question is, it, are my fucking soldiers smart enough not to fucking step into that? Heading to that location. Oh, uh, and also, I uh, can't a woman. Uh, no reason, I just wanted him to be a woman. What can I say? What are, what are you, fucking sexist? Ken, Ken can be whatever he feels like. I feel like this is dangerous just because if my concealment breaks here. Oh, uh, here we are. Is there like the, the data? They're gonna be doing something with the data tap. Why it's like, I feel like it's really super. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. That will break concealment if I go there. Maybe it's a good idea to move him there because I was going to. I, I swear to you, I was going to do that. Uh, Alright, so let's bring the sniper over here. Like, there's literally no, no one else here, right? Yeah. So, let's do that. So, if I fuck up, I'll be loading a lot. Let me just tell you that. And in this game, I don't think that will be... Um, why can't I see through the building? Apparently, it's... The game's dumb. Like, I'm thinking I'm on another level that I'm not supposed to be, but I can't actually see in this building now. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will make this person move like up onto the second floor here. Actually, ten four. Yeah, now now it fucking goes inside the building. Just that person is, wasn't allowed to go in. Got it covered. All right, where'd they move to? Oh, there's a mini sectoid now again, or is that the same large one that we saw? No, it's still the large, disgusting one. I don't know if why, but it looks so tiny. All right. Uh, this is actually not a good sniper spot, because I can't actually see our good friend there. Uh, but he can see that. Alright, where's Canned? Okay, Canned's gonna move to the door. Confirmed. Now what breaks concealment here? It, it was telling me beforehand. But now it appears to have changed slightly. Alright, we're gonna just move her here. I'm just gonna get everyone into a good spot. Actually, high ground would not be bad for the sniper. This game is really random on what it likes to show me. All of a sudden now I can't see the top of the roof. <laughs> Alright, well I'm just gonna go based upon faith and just assume that I wanna go right here. Welcome out. Welcome out. Well said myself. There you go. Because I knew there was something there. Hit it there now. Watch. Oh, look at that. Okay, so apparently I was really close to breaking concealment there. I like, guess what I mean. It's just I wasn't seeing it. Overwatch. Fuck for games, etc. All right, what, what's going on here? What are they shooting? Are they shooting the panel? They might be. Alright. Uh, no targets available for me to shoot. Let's just shoot this asshole. Actually, I probably should have overwatched with some other people. You know, I probably could have done that way better, but yeah. Whatever. No, 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 no. It's gonna be a surprise now, you see? So this person has low ground, which isn't good. Uh... How far can my grenades go? Pretty far. I might actually toss a grenade at that guy. Yeah, I just can't see him now. So we're just gonna- we're gonna lob a grenade at his ass. Ruins his cover. Moving to designated position. Ah, can't see anybody. Oh, just overwatch it. Overwatch. Okay, we're gonna open the door. And that doesn't take an action, like it should not do that, so we're good. And Ken takes the first shot of the day. Does not disappoint. Ever. Over here. 
Now I thought to myself having a sniper on the rooftop would be a great idea. Apparently not. Why can't why? Why is this guy in a totally useless spot? You know what? I actually there's something interesting that I think is a mechanic now. Or no, it's not. So okay, you see you see how right you see how crosshair thing on his face? So when I move into a position like here, you see how there's no crosshair beside him? When I move like over here, you see it tells you beforehand if I move somewhere where I'll be able to hit him from actually. Uh, so probably could have taken that into account before, but That's life guys. I, I, I knew that existed. I just I, I didn't exactly know how it was uh, implemented. Hey, good. We got a promotion in our rookie. Uh, all right, let's have a look around here. So I'm guessing stepping in this shit doesn't actually do anything anymore. Where's our rookie? All right, rookie. You're on. Uh, you're run, you're on run for the mail duty. On it. Get the fuck out there. Yeah. We got Illyrium Core. Got something new. All right, we're gonna move over here. It was a real shame that my sniper was not in a position to, to back up at all. I'm on the move. We do have med kits though, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone's shooting it over there. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're real close to some of these people. So someone with a grenade is going to just chuck a grenade up there at him, I think. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical on doing like super bold moves, but yeah. Apparently that's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good right now. So I can do... I'm, I'm like, as I said, I'm still a little bit... Cautious, just because I've, I'm I'm triggered by XCOM one, so you have to forgive me. Uh, I still would like to be in a position where somebody backs us up, but you know what? We got to run to that terminal, I think. So let's just run to it. Affirmative. I got eyes on an okay. Apparently, in that position, they could see us. Oh, there's, there's civvies here. Alright, well, this might be the time for the sniper. Fucking 45% chance to hit. For Canada! Yes! Alright, I kind of wanted to heal her. Ah, oh, motherfuck. I'm gonna just overwatch this. Moving to Overwatch. I'm gonna probably pop a med kit on him. Come on, go for the Jesus shot. No, you fucking rookies. Get it yeah. Oh god, he's doing um, probably some mind control shit. What? No, it's disoriented. That's it. Okay, good. Something. He's just he's just disoriented. Appar apparently, he's too stupid to be mind controlled by uh, these new sectoid guys. So. Success. All right, I'm we're gonna way. just go right for the flank. Hello, sir. Oh, you're not dead. Uh, this is awkward. Oh, actually, he's fucking whatever. Fine, just fucking blow a hole. Yeah, we, we didn't really need this door anyways. Flag out. Okay, he's still not dead. Oh, what is it going to take to kill this guy? Uh, so this guy's disoriented. What does that exactly mean? He can only... He can't fire on... No, no, no. He can. I, I'm actually kind of... Oh, he can't move that far, actually. That's what ha happened. His movement was reduced. And let's see, can we see the guy? No, we can't, so... Alright, it's up to Mike Lad. Not 89% chance to hit. 
All right, squad site negative six, and uh, not, not a lot of crit. Let's go, guys. Motherfucker, I'm the best. Right, just the lettuce. All right, so what's the deal with this guy? Now, the thing is, with my squad sight sniper, I could either keep him here or do some other bullshit here. I honestly think I should just keep him here, because this is actually an excellent uh, space for him for as a squad sight sniper. All right, let's go straight to the door here. No need to ask twice. I don't know. On the other hand, I'm like, maybe I should go here in case, like, we get fucking bombarded. So, that's, I think, what we're gonna do after all. Hold up, Gates. Roger that. I'm on it. I can. Breach and clear. Alright, what? That's, like, a totally other GK option. Range. Menace 1 5, we've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. Okay. I guess we'll just go in here and reload some people. Apparently, I don't have the movement points like I thought I would. I love my German voice. It's so sexy. I think I'm yelling something at someone. I, I just don't know. God damn, why didn't I learn how to speak German? I mean, you know what? Actually, this is a good sniper position, too, just because I'm on the second floor. Oh, up here. How the fuck can they see us? Oh, there's an open window. <laughs> well, that answers a couple questions. Alright, let's just hack this terminal first. Oh, we're protecting it, actually. That's what we're doing. That's our mission. Alright. Where's our grenades? That's affirmative. So I can I can grenade this guy's fucking ass. Let's do that. Let's do that guy Take first. This. And we're going to grenade that guy next. Uh, just want to get some positioning on this. Honestly, I just want to destroy their cover. It'll make the, it'll make the subsequent shots a whole lot easier. There we go. Alright. How the fuck? Okay, I can't see him now? Yeah, okay, we've gotten into fucking territory of randomly losing sight on shit. There we go. We can pistol him. Oh, let's try the pistol out. Actually, this is the first time I've tried it, so... Why is my chance to hit so low? Weapon range. Whatever, let's try it. Okay, it looks badass as fuck, but it's not a sniper okay, rifle, so obviously I missed it. Whatever, just fucking kill this fool. It's down. Damn right, it's down. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down in the area. Oh, I thought secure. we didn't kill that other guy. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, that that actually went pretty well. So I think what I think what our plan is, we're gonna bring just one rookie along to kind of level up all the time. Look at look at Cat. He's fucking like nodding his head, like he's super happy. He's like, yeah, that went, that went exactly according to plan. Of course I'm happy too. It's like, yeah, I got fucking two sniper kills. So, okay, yeah, we're totally in blind territory now. That was a totally new mission to me, so. I, I have no idea how much HP that terminal has, but I guess we'll uh, learn one day when we fuck up the mission. But not today, folks. XCOM 2, we came, we came home successfully. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up, Commander. Ken, what the fuck, Ken? Come on. Come on, bro. Okay, so here we have uh, your gear includes extra layers of padding and blast blades, granting a bonus point of armor 
and 60%, uh, 66% less damage from explosive attacks. Uh, interesting option for this one, or we can, um, your cannon attacks shred armor. Here's, here's my problem with either of these options. They're not very, oh, a successful shot with a conventional cannon will shred one armor from the target, where advanced cannons will shred more armor, okay, or we can do this one. So, wait, wait, this says that, oh, so this is literally just 66% 60, less explosive damage. I think we'll do the armor one, um, because I think we haven't seen that yet. I don't really know. I'm going to make like a mix of soldiers anyways. All right, let's see. What what can Martin be? Oh yeah, he's got the little gremlin guy again. And this guy is going to be a, a ranger. And I I don't get a level up apparently because Ken fucking hogged all the kills. That kill stealing fucking bitch. Nah, that's okay. We love you, Ken. All right, and we got some corpses and Illyrium cores and shit, so... Ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. Soldiers with a reduced will can recover by participating in su successful combat missions and staying... Uh, I think it's staying healthy? Oh. So his will was reduced just because he got wounded. Wow. Now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. Fucking Kand is like not very confident in our in our team apparently. To clear out these rooms, first we'll need to assign an engineer to the task. Once we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. Looks good to me. Just give the word and we'll get started, Commander. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to your quarters. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. I don't know how we trust that guy, because every time you lose in XCOM 1, uh, uh, well, Iron Man known, he'd basically get mind controlled by an alien and be telling you, like, uh, XCOM is being shut down. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tygen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. All right, so we got contact. We have research resistance communications, fly to black site region, make contact. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. 
Alright, so there's a abandoned co uh, colony. Apparently we'll get <coughs> a reward of rookie, Avenger, so you don't just hire people. You kind of just get people like this, so that's kind of nice. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Oh fuck, we're doing this thing again where we're capturing people. Alright, we gotta make complete the Skulljack project. Help me more. Uh just like all my missions right now. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Neat. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Uh, proving ground. Okay. Uh, so, we're actually not going to do resistance communications. We're going to do a... Uh, I think we're going to do these, these two side projects because they're really fast. Just modular the weapons and stuff. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. What can I do for you, Commander? <clears throat> so she can make a flashbang, disorients enemies in a large radius, uh, doing significant offensive penalties, and also smoke grenade, defensive boost to any uh, ally caught in the radius. This costs all supplies, by the way. Uh, I don't know where my supply counter is. It's uh, up in the corner, so I have 140. Apparently in money, but whatever. Um, smoke grenade might be okay. I'll, like I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll make one. Because I think that will add a lot of. Like I liked flash bang, flash bangs in Long War. The so. Troops have been keeping count on alien kills. Might be a useful recruiting tool. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. <laughs> it's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Fallen soldiers. Two people, all right. <laughs> it's the two people that we lost in Operation G Gate Crasher. Those fuckers. All right, it's me. I, I like my fucking picture. Wait, that's not me. I'm not. I'm not brown. All right, there you go, Oliver. <laughs> he's he's fucking. He's from the UK and he's he's like brown. Nice. The game's sending a message. All right. Um, shaken and gravely wounded is what Ken does. Well, luckily we have our ranger and our specialist backup, so. We just need we need a variety of kind of people, so it's gonna be kind of nice to have. 
Uh, this is still taking two days. Yeah. I was just kind of looking at it because it had it has a little board around it. I don't know why. So there's obviously I don't think there's any air combat in this game at all. There hasn't been so far. I guess we just fly around away from them. So it says uh, remnants of an incomplete advent settlement. Our scans located a small resistance cell nearby. They went to join XCOM. Course for sector ten, Eastern United States. We got two, three, three people. Alright, that's that's pretty nice. People are uh, I think gonna come in handy. So we can't do this resistance HQ mission yet, so our only option right now is to uh fuck around here and just pass the time. Alright, let's view the room of the alien debris we'd cleared. Alright. So the question is, what do we want to build here? Uh, and the answer to that is, I don't know. So we have Gorilla Tactics School. Uh, it will unlock additional skills that will benefit our soldiers, including an increase to the number of soldiers we can take on a single mission. That actually might be pretty good. It costs 85 supplies, though. Uh, there's this one. It's an advanced... Well, what's our power situation? Like, 6 out of 12. And so this guy is AWC. Soldiers gain bonus agility outside their current class when promoted. In addition, to engineer may be staffed to AWC. It's just Advanced Warfare Center. Okay. That seems like a very later thing, because it's like 115 supplies, 21 days. Uh, power relay increases the power output of the Avenger. Uh, it doesn't tell me how much power, really. Or maybe it does. Maybe it's adding three power. Here's the thing: it doesn't really. Uh, I guess there's no adjacency bo bonuses anymore. That's my assumption here. Uh, so engineers can be staffed in workshops, creating unique gremlin drones, which may can be sent to any room adjacent uh, to. Sorry, engineers can be staffed in workshop, creating unique gremlin drones, or can can be sent to staff any adjacent room or facility. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it's it has to be an adjacent room, though. So someone has to staff things normally. By the way, it's adjacency uh, to me looks like it's like a like the T like a plus kind of thing. I'll show you in a bit. And here's a lab, increase the speed of shit, and proving ground. Uh, she can, Shen can test new types of ammo, grenades, weapons for his soldiers. That actually might be really good to have. It also has an exclamation mark there. I was gonna I was gonna say Gorilla Tactics School, but I'm actually gonna lean towards the fucking this thing now. Probing start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Uh, I don't think I want to put anyone on that because I think this There's this. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. I I kind of want to clear clear off the space though. Uh, but I don't know. I, actually, I don't think I have enough money for that anyways, so. Yeah, I don't think we have enough money for that, so let's actually speed up the research that we have there. I'm trying to press escape, but it, it kind of just is taking a shit. So, we're gonna go assign this person here. 50% faster construction. So, I think that's good. That's a good use of our engineers. Alright, well, let's keep the, the globe spinning, or... It's not really a spinning globe, it's gaining intel. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. All right, why, thank you. Codename Tinker. I love Tinker. All right, let's do hybrid ma magnetic weapons. Okay, how about now? So we're going to do these advent corpses. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Sorry, I'm not doing Advent Corpses, I'm doing fucking hybrid materials. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. So, we get a scientist out of this. Uh, yeah, so apparently we don't have any choices right now of, of what we want to do. That's fine. That's going to be fun. Uh, we can also now build items, but I'll, I'll figure out how this works. Oh, no, no, this is not how that works. 
Because I, I just researched like some kind of like weird shit that... Oh, there we go. Weapon upgrade. There you go. Uh, I'll fuck around with this later. I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you what I've done later because this is a really long episode. So take care, guys. Bye.